Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can get better graphics for the PC, PS4 and Xbox One. Later on this video I'm gonna show you how to do it on the consoles, but first off let's start off with the PC. On the PC you have actually a lot more options and you also have a graphics option that you cannot choose on the Xbox One and the PS4. So on here, the first off what you want to look at is your graphics card itself. So like you see my graphics card is a GeForce RTX 280 Super, that's one of the best graphics cards. But but it's not the best but still one of the best graphics cards that are out there so you want to research your graphics card if you don't know it and you just want to go back to settings so the first off what i look at is the vram usage i don't want to go over to 80 percent so i actually stay away and i just use about like 60 percent or like 55 percent of my vram usage so let's go over to here like you see my render resolution is 4040p that's because my monitor itself is 4040p and you can also adjust that if you have like for example a 4k monitor or if you have a 1080p monitor you can just go to 1080p but i just like it to keep it on 100 percent you can also go to advanced and stuff like that so let's go to aspect radio so if you want a wider screen you can always adjust that and I just keep it on automatic, I like it like this. And on here, like you see, events you enable it, limits your frame rate to the match of your monitor's refresh rate, enabling this prevents screen tearing issues, but it causes some input lag. So that's why I don't enable this. I don't want like input lag and stuff like that. So it's pretty annoying once you get input lag. Let's go to custom frame rates limits. And on here, I have every dongle max. Like I said guys, don't get too high if you ha don't have a good graphics card or if your graphics card doesn't support it. So always stay away from that. You don't want to just go over the limits. It could cause some problems. And on here I have it enabled. On this one I got 2.4 and on here guys so these are the more most likely the main graphics things and stuff like that so like you see on the example once you get it high it will show a lot better and on here also so i always keep it on high and like i said you want to make sure that your graphics card supports it So let's go to extra. So this is more for the shadows like you see on here. So it uh, displays a lot more details on the shadow sides. And here are my settings. So I have a pretty good settings actually. So um, I go up to four, 400 FPS on my 44 monitor. It's pretty good actually. So let's go over to here. You can always copy my settings if you want, guys. So I have this disabled once I move my weapon or something like that. I don't want the blurring to happen. Also on here. Film grain, it's gonna cause a lot, like, it looks pretty ugly to me actually, so always keep your frame rate on i mean your film grain on zero so let's go to general so on brightness i have it a little bit higher than the recommended the reason why is i sometimes don't see my enemies they are like camping any dark spots and it could be happening that there's some um there's like not enough for lightning and i don't see my enemies and i get just killed by somebody camping so always have this uh, just a little bit over the recommended
so guys let's go to general and on here like you see my brightness is on 53% I just like to keep it a little bit higher than the recommended one the reason why is sometimes my enemies are camping on dark spots I can't see them so they kill me and it's pretty annoying so if you want to see your enemies better on like really dark spots if they're like camping and stuff like that you want to get this a little bit higher than the recommended one now let's go to here so you can just copy my settings I just want to go to here guys so this is just a extra this has nothing to do with graphics or stuff like that I just like to keep it on uh, square the reason why is it's gonna show a lot more details and more just it's gonna show a bigger map in general on the round map it's not gonna show everything like you see this just cuts off this just cuts off and just it just goes up to here and that's just the max so just get a square map if you have a round map right now it's gonna show you a lot more things it's gonna be like a 20% bigger map that's just an extra guys and on here I don't like this it's just pretty weird I'm not used to it so I like this on enabled If you want like gore effects and stuff like that, you can enable it. So let's go to here, frame rates per second, FPS counter. So if you are playing, I suggest you guys to turn this off. The reason why is sometimes you focus on the FPS so much yeah, that you don't see your enemies coming and stuff like that. So just keep this on disabled. I know guys, it's sometimes like you do want to see how much FPS you're getting. Sometimes it goes up to 300 FPS or 400 FPS. But this is going to get your concentration all the way out. So just get this on disabled. And also all of these on disabled, it could get your concentration away. And could get you killed. So always disable it. Now we are done guys, let's go over to the consoles. First thing you want to do is you want to go to start and on start go to general and on here guys what you want to do is you want to first go to brightness and on brightness you want to set this on a little bit higher than the recommended so the recommended is most likely gonna be like 50 or something like that but I like to set it on a little bit higher for example 55 so I can see my enemies good sometimes it's like really dark and my enemies are like camping somewhere and I can see them so I always keep this a little bit more higher than the recommended now let's go to film grain so like you see if you look at the pictures it's not good to use film grain to be honest if you want better graphics turn this one off to zero so once you turn this off to zero it's gonna be a lot better guys and now let's go to here tooltips just disabled subtitles disabled language and if you have color blindness i suggest you to turn this one on and there are some different kinds of color blindness so if you have color blindness just turn this on on which type you have but I don't have it, so if you don't have color blindness, just turn this on disabled. Or oh, motion blurred. So what this is is actually if you turn around really quickly with your weapon, for example, it will get like really blurry. So if you don't like that, you can just go ahead and disable this. Weapon motion blur. Once you like move your weapon or something like that, if you remove your weapon really quick just disable that if you don't like the blur now let's go to here so I actually suggest you guys to use a square map the reason why is if you really look close to the picture you can actually see that you are seeing a little bit more than the round one so if you turn this on you will see a little bit more where the enemies are and I think it's a lot better and I think it's like a bit more classic. So I like to take this on square. On this I don't really like this so I just have this disabled but it's up to you guys if you like it or not. 
text chat, profanity, game installs, and on here we are good. So now let's go to audio. On audio, guys, let's go ahead, and I like to keep this on home theater, so it gives me a better audio. I just like that more. On master volume, this is like the game volume itself. So if you like this to set it off, you can set it off. But it doesn't really help with the sound quality. But now let's go to over here. So if you don't like the music like in the game, just turn it off. Voice chat. So let's go to voice chat. Mute everyone except friends. Enabled. So actually guys, if you are using a headset, I just want to... I'm trying to find that actually. So let's see. If you are like using a headset guys, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you don't have it set on headphone 2 or headphone 3 or something like that. So always get the best audio possible. And for example, if you set your headphones on like headphones 2 or 3 or something else, and I think that's only a setting for the PC users. So if you set that on, you're gonna get a really, really, uh, bad quality of sound into your ears also your own quality of sound is gonna be really bad also so just change that if you have a headphone option to just headphone number one and that's for the pc users and now let's go to the next step what you also guys can do so guys as the next step you want to go to your tv or monitor and you want to go ahead and make sure that your settings are set on game. So how do you do that? So go to menu, go on screen, minus in Dutch guys. That's the reason why the different language. So now click on screen. And once you're on screen, go to modus and set this on game. So spell on my language, it means games. Just set it on games. You can also do some other things like sports, uh, dynamic but i don't suggest you guys to do dynamic um, natural and a lot more things but i recommend you guys to use games it gives you the lowest latency possible on your console and your tv so it's gonna be a lot better so you can react faster now let's go ahead and go return now guys what you also want to make sure of is that your HDMI one, I mean your console or whatever you are using is set on HDMI one port. So go to source and you want to make sure that it's set on HDMI one. So the reason why is it gives you, a, I think a little bit better graphics and lower latency. So it will give you a li little bit lower latency and it's gonna be a lot better guys. And for the PC users, you guys have also a graphics option. So the consoles user doesn't have that, but if you have a PC and you play on the PC, you will have like here a graphics option if you click on start. So you can adjust a lot more things and it all matters to you guys. It's all your opinion so i can't actually show what's the best graphics for you guys but these are the graphics that i like to use and what i like to do actually so i recommend them to use them but if you don't like something just go ahead and change it in this video and now guys i just want to also say that if you still have questions or problems you can also go ahead and join the communities let me show you guys and also i have the same community on the xbox one too so you can also join the same one it's called Aerofix and kiri and like i said on xbox one it has the same name in the clubs so you can always join it if you have questions or things like that and i just want to say guys thanks for watching please like subscribe and comment down below and i will leave some links in the description down below or the comment section down below to the ps4 get better graphics and also get better graphics on the xbox one because it's gonna take a really long time 
to upload it in just one video so it will be some separate videos and you can just click on the link and go to that video if you want to so thanks for watching guys and take care of yourself goodbye